Next is question number 8. The last question. Here we have an alkene with HBr. So in this, just with HBr, it has to follow Markovnikov's rule. So the negative part of the adding molecule should bond to that carbon of the double bond that contains least number of hydrogen atom. So we have two carbons over here, one with one hydrogen, the other one with no hydrogen. So obviously Br will form bond with both carbons, but out of that, the one where it contains lesser number of hydrogen will be the major product. So let's draw both the products. So here we have CH3, CH, to this I'm going to form hydrogen, break the double bond and to this carbon I'm going to put a bromine atom and the rest of the molecule remains the same. Let's interchange the groups on the carbon atoms and write the other product. So this carbon will get the Br, this will get hydrogen with both the methyl groups. So here, as per the Markovnikov's rule, the adding molecule will be bonded to that carbon which contains least number of hydrogen atom. This carbon contains one hydrogen, this carbon contains no hydrogen. So obviously, this is going to be the major product as per the Markovnikov rule and this will be the minor product. So if you are trying to name them, you are going to start from that carbon where the functional group gets the least count. So I am going to start from here, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So when I try to name them, this is going to be 2-bromo, 2-methyl-butane. Alright, now for the minor product, if I am trying to name them, this is going to be the numbering. So here it will be 2-bromo, 3-methyl-butane. Alright, so out of this, we only need to write the structure for the major product. This will follow the Markovnikov's rule. If we had a peroxide on the arrow, it would follow anti-Markovnikov's rule or the peroxide rule. But here it's just HPR, so it's going to follow Markovnikov's rule. 